Tonight, eggs hang from strings. Phoebe Ryan sings a song with me, and Huck Demila wears a butterfly mask. Okay. I'd love to cook some food for Ulysses S. Grant, and if I were to do so, it would be a modern freeform egg. I love cooking eggs for dead presidents. In order to soften how bizarre this is and pull it into the past a little bit, I thought I'd use some quotes from Oscar Wilde. I'm gonna make an eight minute egg, but I'm gonna remove the egg from its shell because I want my food dead, not dying, not sick, dead. And the only way to find that out is to open it up. So this plastic wrap is our new shell. Draw up the narrowest parts of the plastic first. I'm not young enough to know everything, but I do know that this will melt at over 190 degrees. So we're going for 180 degree water here. butter. Dashi ice cubes. It's essentially dried kelp boiled in water for 10 minutes. Now you, oh, you smell that? I have the simplest tastes. I'm always satisfied with the best. And that's why I'm using hen of the wood mushrooms, which I'm going to steam in butter and dashi broth. Oh, that smells great. Oh, man. I'm doing breakfast this way because everything popular is wrong. We're gonna use a little ponzu, just for a little more flavor. So citrusy, I love it. A drop of ridiculous balsamic vinegar. Only dull people are brilliant at breakfast. Oscar Wilde would be proud. I do just want a pinch of salt. I can resist everything except temptation. Oh, look at that. Uh, oh, beautiful. Come on, you like that. Oh my God. It's amazing. <laughs> um, words, words. We are actually speechless. This is ineffable. There's just nothing, there's nothing that can be said. It's like trying to describe the fourth dimension. We mm. haven't proven it, but the math adds up. Yeah. It's what I'm feeling. Yuzu powder, I think is so nice because you get the citrusy thing and then immediately you're eating egg yolk, which is just pure cholesterol and like foie gras-y, especially mm. with that texture of doneness. And, uh, and then you've got the tea flavor with the saltiness of the purple, which is delicious. The mushrooms have a fantastic yeah. texture and flavor. The whole thing is crazy. Anyway, that's the Henry egg. Why not start off your next dinner with something as simple and delicious as miso soup? You order it all the time. Everybody orders it all the time. Have you ever had it at a friend's house? No. Why? Because it's foreign. Is it really that foreign? Is it really that difficult? No, it's not. It's three ingredients. Two ounces of kelp in the pot. Two quarts of water with the kelp. Bring it to a light simmer. 20 minutes of kelp in the water. Pull the kelp out. Ooh, ah, it's hot, the steam is hot. Essentially, it's a vegetable stock. What makes it miso soup 
is miso paste. Fermented soybean comes in three flavors, dark, medium, and light. The darkest one is very salty. The lightest one is very not so salty. So you have to adjust the amount that you put into the dashi based on how salty it is. So are there exact measurements for the miso? No, there are not. For two quarts of water, I would start with two mm. tablespoons of miso paste. Just like this, okay? You're gonna have to taste it. There's really no way around it. You take a little bit. That just happens to be perfect. I'd definitely get excited if someone made this for me. So it's not your run of the mill appetizer. And it's vegan. We have a bunch of great guests tonight. The first one is Phoebe Ryan of Town Hall, but don't let her small size fool you because she's got very big, beautiful pipes. <laughs> That's cool. No, it's fine. It's true. I, I'm talking about her singing voice. <laughs> Next up, we have Huck DeMilo. The man wears a butterfly mask. He's the frontman of the popular recording act, The Bronze Fondue. How you doing? I'm very well. I'm very well. But how are you, Phoebe? Stupendous. <laughs> From Naples, Italy, the drummer, he makes it sound like thunder, Francesco Cinillo. How are you? Are you hungry? I'm starving, man. <laughs> I'm starving. Please give me something. <laughs> Composing all the music with me this evening, my partner in crime, Luke Salenza. Glad you guys could be here. Looking forward to playing some music later. Thank you. Oh, it's going to be great when we play music later. <laughs> have, a, have a bite. I just want to say... Have a bite. <laughs> yeah, I know. You can't really bite. <laughs> you can really bite. It's um. <laughs> Man, English is not my first language. Okay? <laughs> oh. FYI. FYI, which is what? For your information. For your information. It's like LOL, except it's older. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have some really sad, <laughs> sad news. Scallions what are awesome. What happened? Phoebe's a vegan. <gasps> oh, man. Tell, what does vegan mean again? <laughs> We don't eat anything with a face, or anything that comes with something from a face. A face? A f like an animal. Oh, right, right, right. So That's dairy the product. characteristic? <laughs> so Not swaps yeah, don't I mean, count. <laughs> well, no, because they have face. They have, Women, they have face. But no eggs, no dairy, no animal products. What can you tell us about this soup, other than it's vegan? It's water, it's kelp, it's miso paste. And what are the tiny fish that whales Impossible. Eat? Plankton. No, 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 another one. It begins with a K. Krill. Krill. Yes, thank you. Kale would I'm be sorry, I confused K? kelp and krill. Kale's is it is. super good. good. It's delicious. It's like shrimp, but not as important. Frankie, did you put salt in it? No, miso paste is very salty. Oh, nice. Okay. It was salty enough. I was just, you know, wondering. Yeah. Why the, the ground tofu as opposed to... It's not. That's just miso paste, not all the way blended, because I did it with a whisk. There's no tofu mm -hmm. at all. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Tofu has a face, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> that is very false. I think the Japanese ceviche is the way to go. Ponzu sauce is delicious. It's a pre-made thing. Tons of brands make it. They're all very salty and very acidic at the same time. So here I have some salmon. Let's do this on a plastic cutting board, something that we can put right into the dishwasher. So you just come on an angle here, and just nice thickness into a glass bowl. Ponzu sauce. It's essentially soy sauce with a little bit of citrus. So the citrus will cook the fish. Let's do at least 20 minutes, okay? Put it in the fridge. Let's make some rice to go with this. Essentially deconstructed sushi. Cup of rice, cup of water. Equal parts. Short grain rice, water. So once the rice and water are boiling just a little bit, you want to turn this down to low. You want to put a top on. 20 minutes. This gets really hot and I've burnt myself so many times because copper is one of the best heat transferring metals. If you happen to have any wine corks lying around, you can just shove them in there. And now I can grab the corks, which transfer no heat at all. So this is a smart little move. I learned it from Marcella Hazan. Okay, so here's our rice. And this is uh, a dried shiso leaf with salt. It's called yukari. Y-U-K-A-R-I. It's sort of like a minty tea salty flavor and it is really fantastic. I'm gonna add some sesame seeds. So this flavors the rice, adds a dramatic purple dye as well. Make it look like that. 
tablespoon of each, give it a test, do it to your taste. It's like salt and pepper. Anytime the Japanese serve something that's round, they do it on a square plate. Anytime they serve something that's square, they do it on a round plate. So if you have a square plate, rice in your measure, you don't want to pack it down too hard. Take your plate, and you can go pretty gorgeous. Regular shiso leaf, it's kind of like mint, sort of like that right there. Here's our salmon. It was cooking in our acid ponzu sauce. Anything in even numbers, Japanese food, bad luck. So three, five, don't do four. One, two, three. Make it a little bit more dramatic with some serrano pepper, jalapeno, one, two, three, like that. One, two, three. Serve that and I honestly think you instantly become a hero. This is really easy and really delicious. And most importantly, unexpected. Japanese ceviche, deconstructed sushi. Ceviche. Okay. Mm. Oh. You. Oh, you have something else. I, yeah, do you want to explain what I have? Well, I just I just sauteed shiitake mm. mushroom in ponzu oh my sauce God, salmon and, gave you, has a face. Mm -hmm. and gave you a little bit of yuzu. Mm -mm, check it out, dude. She got mushroom. Face of tofu. I know. That's what I mm. did it. Okay, that this was is delicious. This mm. really is delicious. Has a serious bite too. Mm. What's this leaf? I'm eating it. I think it's mint. It's Eat good. It. <laughs> what is it? No, it's not mint. It's not mint. What is it? I think it's krill. It's called <laughs> seashell. Yeah, it's definitely like seashell? a mint. Yeah, it's like, it, I mean, you put that it on It looks like a mint. It feels like a mint. Like a mint. Than can, you, can you eat it? It's not like basil leaf, right? No, it's in the rice, too. Mm. Now, what's the, what's the leaf that you're not supposed to eat? Poison, in... poison oak? No. <laughs> definitely <laughs> not. Nice. That was a total setup, man. No, the, uh, it's in sauces, in, in, in red sauces frequently. Oh, it's bay leaf? A... Yes. That you're can, not that supposed can, to eat that? Right, it can hurt you, right? It's it can actually... like prickly. And it would be like swallowing a porcupine right. if it were a leaf. That's what mm. I'm saying. <laughs> so you shouldn't eat it. Yeah, exactly. Mm. <laughs> to sum up, that's that the makes point. perfect sense, Frank. This is great. This is delicious. Super spicy, man. But, yeah, that's the, the joke. You know. Phoebe, <laughs> could you just sign and date your album cover for me? No. Because I, I happen to have printed that for you. <laughs>
Here's something you see a lot in Southern Italy, not so much in America. Quick, pickled, very flavorful eggplant. You get two flat sides. That just makes life a lot easier, you know? So nothing's rolling around really. Very precise mixture. One third champagne vinegar, two thirds water. How much? Enough to fill the eggplant. Maybe have some just poking out the top. Coriander seed, how much do you like it? I like it. So a lot of hardcore people will tell you that you've gotta dry these out with salt and weights for hours. And I think it's really silly because you're boiling it in water and vinegar. So why are you taking water out when you're just gonna put it back in anyway? Skip that six hour step. Eggplant into a pot that is on high heat. Clove of garlic, put your knife on top, smash it, skin comes off relatively easily that way. All right, bring it to a boil. All of our flavor for the dish comes from these various ingredients. We won't be using any salt, so I highly recommend olives. I like red ones, I think they look more beautiful. For two pretty small eggplant, 10, 10 olives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah, 10. Um, I got some capers, they were packed in salt. I'm just gonna chop them up here. A chili pepper. Whatever fresh herbs you have, parsley, basil, oregano. See, now this looks pretty pretty, so let's just kinda chop that shit up. I'm just gonna come around like this. <laughs> All right, when this comes to a boil over here, you'll see the skin of the eggplant start turning brown, kinda like that. Five minutes boil. Let's start putting it in the jar here. Let's do layers of stuff, all right? All right, so tonight I have Phoebe Ryan from Town Hall on the show, and she's a vegan. So I wanted to give her something that she probably doesn't have very often. Who makes pickled eggplant? No one, no one makes pickled eggplant. Get some compression, yeah? Don't be afraid. Keep going layers. Ooh, look at that. Get that pepper somewhere in the middle. Push. Push, push, push. Okay, that looks really, really pretty. Now we want to fill in the gaps. That's gorgeous, that's different. 10 days in the fridge. The olive oil solidifies a little bit, so you definitely want to pull it out about 25 minutes before you're gonna eat it. Something that's very, very satisfying is uh, Eating, I don't know if you've ever had bread with olive oil before, but essentially this is very flavorful olive oil. And then to make it extra special and, and really cut through the vinegar, just a little bit of Pecorino Romano in there is like the most killing bruschetta. All right, mm -hmm. Francesco, you'll really like this one. Thank you. Sono sicuro. <laughs> what is it? No, I made, I made some like quick pickled eggplant. Yeah. They, uh, I got family down in Calabria, which is pretty close to Campania, and, and grandma makes this. Why don't you take a piece of bread, put on the bread with a little bit of the Pecorino Romano. Okay. It's, okay, how am I supposed to take it? Just grab it with your fingers. Pecorino. That would be my fingers? Yeah. Pecorino. Okay. Is it Pecorino or Pecorino? It's Pecorino. Okay, Pecorino is the, is the cheese. Don't cheese. It's the cheese, <laughs> you know? Oh, but, <laughs> but what does the word really mean? Uh, little sheep. Right. So yeah, I knew it. <laughs> right, obviously, you shouldn't put the cheese. No, but I want to eat this. Is it okay? Mm-hmm. Good? Oh! This <laughs> is um, it's sottolio, no? Oh, so oh yeah, sottolio. Under olive oil. Sotto sottolio. Sottolio. And it's, it's like, um, and then I want it's, it's very, that people used to do it, especially in the south of Italy. Right. So mm. Naples, um, Calabria, Sicilia, mm. you know? Mm. Yeah. It's really, 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 really brava, really brava, good. brava. I took a really cool picture. Okay. And and I and you are the drummer who makes the thunder sound. Oh my right? god. Right? Okay. Right? Holy oh. sh Woo. I'm I'm wow. sorry for 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 the sh but but man, this is <laughs> That's <cool>. Wow. <laughs> the thunder. <laughs> what, what's good? What, okay, the it's, thunder it's maker. Awesome. No, I just, I'm just curious. What, what, what? Just, how did you, did you, did you think about that? 
Thunder. Today? And does that not mean the Thunder Man, the Thunder Maker? Tornatore. Il tornatore. Il tuono. No, how do you say Il that? Il tornatore. Si. Tornatore. It means the thunderer? Yes. Thunderer. Tornatore. <laughs> no, I, actually, I, I've never really seen this word in Italian. I know, I invented it, and I'm telling you what it means. It means the Thunder Maker man. The, <laughs> the thunderist. <laughs> The, the, the thunder, thunder, the thunder man, the man. thunder maker man. I think it's brilliant. And yeah, man. I was gonna say <laughs> that really is tasty. Can but I let's go play. Let's go play a Can song. Let's Bring play some closer. music. I think we should. We should probably end with playing Mood Ring. Should I wear my mood? Change from green to blue. Should I win my? Send in the clowns. I've been saying for so long that love is black, love is white. Or oh, maybe it's more like a grayish brown. Should I wear my mask?